Okay, hello everybody. Hello and welcome to another webinar. Uh, this is um, the last weekend that I am offering these free webinars. So today, Saturday and Sunday, will be the last three days. So, uh, we're going to wait a little bit for more people to join us. So let me see here, we have Maritza, Jocelyn, and Hassan. Hassan, sorry. Okay, so today um, is going to be like a special webinar because I'm going to show you different resources, okay? There are tons and tons available, but I'm going to tell you the ones that I really like and that I have used in my lessons. And also, for myself because I am a non-native English teacher and I'm always learning English, improving myself, correcting my mistakes, maybe grammar and pronunciation, vocabulary, etc. So we are here to learn from each other. Now remember that the webinar is being recorded and I upload them on YouTube. Okay, so um, Let's see, uh, Marisa, is this your first time here? Yes. I mean, yeah, right? <laughs> it's the first time, yes. <laughs> okay, and how did you get the information from Instagram? Facebook, I just entered Facebook and hmm. I saw this webinar and it's going to, just in the starting point of, it was going to start at two o'clock, so I entered. <laughs> yes, is that Okay, <laughs> yes. all right, brilliant, okay. I have done these webinars the whole month, okay, with different topics, mainly uh, online tools because of the COVID-19, we are teaching, almost everybody is teaching online. Yes. Okay, let's wait a little bit more. And uh, Hasein, is this your first time as well? I think so. I don't know if you can hear me, but because I, I cannot see your video working. And Jocelyn, I know you've been here before. Uh, yeah, but I missed two of your uh, webinars. Yes, uh, when you were talking about Genially. Uh, and now I'm waiting for your recording <laughs> on Facebook. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, everything is on YouTube. Uh, I have posted everything till Sunday and these ones today and tomorrow I'll post them or upload them sorry next week so you can watch them yeah <laughs> okay brilliant so um yeah I have the chat and uh, yes this is the first time okay uh welcome who's saying welcome I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly now uh remember that I have uh, a Facebook a private Facebook group for teachers. Uh, there I share different tools as well and information about the webinars or resources that I have. I am uploading, no, next week I am uploading new freebies onto my website. So I will, I will let you know if you join the group, I will let you know. Maybe if I um, share, the link you can join the group they will ask you for a couple of questions if you respect the rules of the group of course you will <laughs> and then the other one is that if you know my fan page or website so just the uh, simple questions okay so this is the link i'm sharing that on the chat and okay Let's wait a little bit more. Uh, as you know, I am not living in Peru right now. I live in Spain. So that's why on the post it says 2 p.m. Peru, Peru time and also 9 p.m. Uh, Madrid time. It's because I live in, in Spain. <laughs> and I also want some teachers to, to join if they are living in Madrid. Okay, so we also have Catherine now. Welcome. Um, okay, I will wait for a little bit more, maybe two, a couple of minutes, 
okay? And maybe I can ask um, Maritza, uh, how long have you been teaching English? Oh, it's, it's such a long time, about 20 years, <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, 20 years, okay, and where do you teach? I, um, I work at a um, private school from kindergarten level up to secondary. Um, up to April, I was working at Senati mm -hmm. Institute for Technology Students, but no, I, I, was I was retired because of the pandemic. Yes, I stopped working until March of this year. Yes. Okay, so right now you're not working, but you no, have been only, working. Only at the school, yes. Only at the school, okay, yeah, because of all this. Um, mm pandemic right yes okay and uh, okay i think you were texting me marisa yeah <laughs> okay and um when you were teaching were you teaching online nowadays yes uh, i'm using microsoft teams platform oh that's an amazing platform digital digital classes yeah yes one hour per week for each grade so I have 40 hours per week, uh -huh. mm. only 40, 14, 14, sorry. For, 14, okay. <laughs> uh, yes, no, but in physical, I teach 40, 40 hours per week, but nowadays in, on digital platform, only 14, one hour per grade. One yes. hour per grade, okay. And how do you manage to do all that? Oh, it's such a lot of of work because we have to prepare uh, PPTs, PowerPoints, mm -hmm. and give our classes through them. And uh, I, we have to make worksheets for each grade. In total, 28 material, <laughs> 28 kind of words, different words. 14 PPTs and 14 worksheets every week. <laughs> yes. Every single week, wow. Yes. yes. Wow, okay, that, yeah, um, I think nowadays teachers deserve to earn more money now. They're spending the whole time to but prepare the, the lessons. <laughs> it's the opposite, <laughs> yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I know. Mm. Because I think some parents don't want to pay the full payment, etc., because they say that it's, the, the children are at home. It's a, it's a huge topic to talk about. Yes, to talk about, yes. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I think we're going to start. Give me one second, because I confuse your Marisa, and here I have a Maritza, and it says, deseo participar. <laughs> um, I'm just uh, texting her, and that's it. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to share my screen, share screen, okay. And I forgot, I'm going to stop sharing. Um, okay, sounds, yeah. All right, so this is, we're going to talk about amazing ELT resources for English teachers. I'm going to silence. Okay, now as you can see, I have created this on Canva. I don't know if you know Canva, but we can talk about that later. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is what I said before, is my um, <clears throat> Facebook group. The name of the Facebook group is Teaching Materials by English with Miss Roxy. And here you are free to, to start a discussion, ask about something. I post different uh, resources that I find online and also maybe the products that I want to sell or the freebies that I want to offer for free. So you're very welcome to, to join. So number one, I want to talk about wakelet.com. Wakelet.com. As a teacher, I think we all know that we like to save everything that we see on the internet because we say, oh, this is useful. I want to save it, okay? Yeah, yeah. And I want to use it maybe next week, next year. I don't know when, but I want it, no? And I need it. So you keep saving and saving um, different files 
on your computer. And I don't know you, but I usually never open them again because it goes crazy. So if you want to organize all the content that you see on internet, maybe on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, a post, a blog, anything, a YouTube video, anything, you can use this uh, <clears throat> website. So, for example, a, where is this? All right. Now, can you see my computer? I mean, the, the, the web page, Wakelet? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, as you can see, the name, I'm going to type it again, wakelet.com. And every website usually asks you for your registration, your email. Um, this is free. Okay, you don't need to pay. Please remove this window away from your screen. Can you see, right, the, the, this website? Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, <clears throat> so, it's free, okay? This is a free resource for you to organize everything that you see on the internet. You register with your uh, Google, it's also the app if you want to have it on your phone, but I have it on my computer. You have a public profile, etc. So how does this work? Well, so for example, um, you put your profile, your name, that's basic. You need to follow this with any website that you um, search. Now, wakelet.com offers you different um, files with different topics. For example, create a new collection. Let's imagine that today is Friday and I want to look for information about my students next week, about visual aids, about videos, videos to sing songs. Okay, so for example, enter a title. I'm going to write visual aids. If you want a cover image, you can add, okay? Description. I can say interesting pictures for my lessons. This is not compulsory. You decide if you want to write a description or not. So, for example, I click on, this is a website that I always use for photos, Pixabay. Pixabay is also free. Okay, so maybe if you don't know this website and you say, oh, this website, pixabay.com is free and I can download pictures. Okay, I'm going to save it because later I want to look for pictures for my lesson. So you copy, copy it. And here on the link, you paste any web address and click is here. So you don't need to save these, um, I don't know why is this here. I can't see. You, you don't need to save this onto your computer. Okay, you can just save it here. And maybe later today, you click on this and you have a look. So if I close this, I open Wakelet. And let's see, I want to have a look at this. Uh, you have to write, uh, click on done. And you say, okay, I'm going to search for pictures. I don't know, animals, animals. And here you have different animals for free to use for public or commercial use. The only thing that you need to do, you can have a profile join or maybe just like this. For example, I, I don't have a subscription and I like, uh, I don't know, this cat. So you click on the cat. Descarga gratuita, yes. Okay, descargar, and it goes to your computer. Another robot, descarga. If you want to donate, if you want to follow this uh, author on Instagram, you can do it. Okay, so on Wakelet, I can create different, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> different collections 
with different topics. So I want to find more visual aids, more pictures, okay? Another page that I advise you is free pick. If you go to free pick, you have two options. You can pay premium or not, okay? For example, my is basic, I'm not paying now. My subscription finished last Monday, I think. And I want more pictures about animals. So you have a collection, beautiful things. Okay, here you can have a look at resources, collection, free vectors. Okay, maybe right now you don't have time to go through all this. You want to save it, copiar, wakelet, and you're going to edit the collection and you're going to add one more. I want to paste, free pick. So right now you have two resources, Pixabay for pictures and videos and free pick for pictures, okay? If you want to add a cover image, that's up to you. So when you have finished, you click on done. Okay, now here you can change visibility. What does it mean? I want it just for you. Uh, you, you want it just for you or you want it public? If I write public and save, all the people can see it, okay? And in that way, you can help from each, from each other. So if I want to invite, you can invite somebody else to look at your wakelet. For example, copy link. And if I go to the chat, Hi, somebody is, is writing. Proxy, I can't see what you're doing. No? No, you can't see? Mm -mm, no. No, nobody? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think just only the first slide you show us. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to do it everything again then. Okay, I'm really sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm really worry. sorry because I asked somebody I think I said yes yes okay at the beginning at the beginning yes but then no <laughs> okay don't worry don't worry there's technical problems and I didn't see that so it's my my mistake sorry so I'm going to start again okay can you see now the website wakelet.com yeah yes. yeah okay the page is wakelet.com you register with your email and your data. I have a picture because I want, uh, I want this to be public, your email, etc. So for example, you want to save visual aids for your lessons. Estas son como carpetas que están en el ordenador, pero de una forma online and very clear with pictures. So for example, I want to look for visual aids. I'm going to write interesting yeah in, in interesting pictures for my lessons okay acá here oh, great websites okay one one page that i always follow for pictures as i said before is pixabay Pixabay, increíbles imágenes gratis para descargar, gratis. So that's really cool. <laughs> I want pictures about animals or, do or dogs. You, you can be very specific, flowers, teachers, for example. It's cool. Oh, this is nice, for example. You say, mm, I like this website. Wow, different resources. But right now, I don't have time. So I'm going to save this website. If I delete school, pixabay.com. I click, copiar, you go to Wakelet, plus, and you copy. So here, we can only watch Wakelet. Can you see the rest or not? You can only watch the wakelet, yeah? 
when I am on Wakelet and then I go to another website, can you see that or not? Can somebody type? Because I'm using, I'm using different websites at the same time. Can you see all of them? Mm, Only no. Wakelet. Only Wakelet. Ah. So how do I do to share everything? If I want to share many things, I can't do it. Ah, that's interesting. I thought, I think now. Um, what about right now? Can you see everything? For example, this is Wakelet. This is Pixabay. Can you see Pixabay? No? Yes, Pixabay. Uh -huh. Pixabay. Yeah, but and now, um, yeah, and now Wakelet. Yes. Yes, and now, for example, Facebook? That's only no, this no. is Wakelet. This is so, Facebook. Okay, so, so you can see everything. Yes, Facebook. Uh -huh. yeah. Facebook, this is Wakelet. Can you see Wakelet? Uh -huh. Wakelet, yes. Okay, Pixabay? Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay, I was, oh my gosh, okay. So this website, Pixabay, offers lots and lots of pictures for free. But we never have time. Huh? <laughs> so you say, oh, this is interesting, but I want to save this. So you click on Guardar. Okay, wait. Ah, because it's already here. Okay, so this is the website, pixabay.com. Okay, and you're looking for animals. Animals. You like this parrot, for example, okay? And you want to save this website. So you click, right click, copiar, and on Wakelet, if I delete this one, you click on plus and you paste. Okay, so Pixabay is here on your Wakelet. Can you see it now? Yes. yes. Okay, now another resource that I have for pictures is free pick. You have the premium version or you can be just a free, free, a free, and a free account, okay? For example, resources, I'm looking for animals. So I'm teaching animals next week. Wait, no, next week, animals. You have to be here very careful because if you see the crown, it means you have to pay. But for example, this one, ah, because I click on pay on, on premium, free. If you click on free, these ones you don't pay. Look, they are nice. Very, very nice, nice pictures. So maybe you say, again, I don't have time today, but I want to have a look. Okay, you copy, and you go to your wakelet, Click on plus, paste. You wait. So interesting pictures from my lessons. Here you have two websites for you to check later. Now, why is this better than saving on my computer? Because it's very visual and because you can click and it opens directly to the resource. Now, here, this is my wakelet, okay? It says two items. I can share this. If you click, change visibility. I, I, you want it private or you want it public? For example, I want it to be public, safe. And I want to share it with you, for example. I copy, I go to the chat on, uh, ah, where's the chat? <laughs> I go to the chat on Zoom and I paste. So that is the link to the Wakelet. If you click on that, you will be able to see it because it's open to everybody, okay? Now, what else can I do on Wakelet? 
For example, this is my wakelet. I have different music, recipes, everything that I find on the internet for personal use and for my business. Okay, so for example, you create another one. And every time you create, I advise you to write a topic, a title, and also a cover image. So it's more attractive to you. Okay, for example, I want to write English songs. Uh, for my students or oh, for upper intermediate students, upper intermediate students. Okay, so you go on YouTube. Can you see my YouTube channel or the YouTube, sorry? No. No yet. Okay, maybe now. Okay, can you see it now? YouTube. Yes? Okay. Yes. So, okay, so you go to you go on to YouTube and you write, for example, English songs for upper intermediate. Okay. English file, upper intermediate songs. Perfect. You click on that. And you say, mm, I like this one. Okay, you click, copy, well, say, uh, copy, plus, save. Y la canción se ha guardado automáticamente. Okay, and you go again, huh? or maybe this one, this one, I don't know. Oh, I am alive. You click on that. Copiar, copy, wakelet, paste. Please, can you silence your microphone? Thank you. Okay, so English songs for upper intermediate students. I have two, uh, two songs. You click on done. And this is your collection. Again, you say, I want it public. Okay, public, save. I want to share that with my colleague. Si trabajas con una profesora en, la misma, en el mismo lugar, you want to share this. You go to chat and I, I want to share. Oops. I want to share that, for example. Okay, so this is the first resource. Okay, Wakelet. I'm going to close uh, Wakelet. Now, I have eight resources for you today. So the first one, Wakelet. Okay, I really advise you to do that because it's uh, interesting and, and free. The second one is maybe some, something that you know. Write and improve. Can you see the website? Oops. I'm going to wait for your reply. Let me know if you can see the website. Or you can type yes. Yes, write and improve. That's okay, perfect. This is from Cambridge. Cambridge has different resources for free. And many people ask me, why do they offer many things for free? It's because they sell books <laughs> and they earn a lot of money with a, a FCE, CAE, IELTS. That's why they offer other things for free. Write and improve. I usually use this for my students. If I don't want to correct every single writing, I give them, I tell them, or I ask them to go to this website. Okay? It says, practice your writing English. Great in seconds. Te lo corrige. Keep improving. Start practicing. Okay, click. I'm going to click again. Okay, let's wait. Of course, it will be great if your students can create a profile. But it's up to them. As you can see here, you have beginner, intermediate, advanced, business, or just for fun. Also, IELTS Academic is very complete. B2, you can create your own workbook or you can join a workbook, view class. Okay, create a profile, 
if you click on this, you can do it uh, with Facebook or your name, your last name, blah, blah, blah. I'm a teacher or a learner. Let's imagine that I don't want to create a profile. Ah, how can I? Okay, continue. If I do this again, refresh, you can create a profile to see many more tasks. Okay, but right now I'm not going to create the whole profile because it will take a lot, lot of time. I'm going to show you. My student is beginner level, okay? And you choose what you want them to do. Write a sentence, write sentences to answer questions about a teacher, write sentences. Well, the first one, okay? Write sentences to answer the questions about using a computer. So you have a topic. How often do you use a computer? Well, every single day, no? <laughs> okay, you click on this. Uh, they asked me to, okay, I'm going to create that with Facebook, I think, to make it quicker. Okay, you see, it was quick. <laughs> okay, write sentences, okay? So they offer me three questions. My student has to answer these three questions here, okay? Minimum 50 or 100 words, okay? So they type. I'm not going to write 50 words now, but I just an example. Now, when they finish, if you see here, it says write 25 more words because the minimum is 50. Okay, now, yeah, because maybe it's wrong, huh? the way I'm doing it, okay, I need to write. So let's imagine your student has completed the task and they will click on feedback and they will give you the feedback, the right answer, the wrong answer, so you don't need to correct your students. What you will ask your students to do is maybe to take a picture of this, to the writing and to the feedback. And that's it. That will take tons of time for you, okay? You can choose, for example, if I say just for fun, an essay, well, an essay is not for fun, no? <laughs> it's a bit boring, an essay. An mm -hmm. essay, story, uh, vocabulary challenge, you have different options. Seven, it continues, nine, okay, until nine. You click on that and again, okay? Think of an, in, an invention that doesn't exist yet. What problem does it solve? Also, if you don't want to use this website, for example, and you don't have ideas about what to ask your students to write about, you can copy the question and uh, write it on a PowerPoint presentation. So, why do I like this one? Because I don't correct my students' uh, writing, okay? You can do this maybe once a week, you know, and the, the other days you correct themselves. And they get feedback, okay? They can send you um, the picture of the writing and the feedback, and that's it. You can also join a class, a workbook. Well, you will have some time to have a look. So I'm going to um, send you the website. Okay. Have you used this one before? Is this one new to you? You can type or you can use the microphone. Yeah, it, is this one new or or not? For me, it's new. For you, it's new. The first time. Okay. So this is the second resource. New. Okay. 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 We also have for Angel and foreign language and Nerea Lopez. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So this one is my second uh, tool. Now, another one, I'm going to click on that. Click. What, as the, na the name is a bit weird, watching, 
Okay, I'm going to send the, the name here on the chat. Okay, so what is this? Well, as you know, when you go onto Facebook, you have lots of advertisements, right? People start talking and you have to wait, 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 and then you can watch the video. Here, what you can do is just watch the video without ads. So watch responsibly, mainly for children, maybe, okay? Because you know YouTube offers different things for adults and teenagers, and maybe you have a, a, a group, maybe they are seven years old, eight years old, you want the video to be clean, okay? So, for example, it says paste the YouTube URL. URL. You go to YouTube. Okay. I'm going to choose a random video. Okay. For example, this one that I like to listen to with my son is the baby song. You click, copiar, copy, copy, and watching. You paste. Okay. They are going to look for the video and to make it clean without ads. <laughs> Okay, so it says we are currently experiencing problems getting additional data about this video. Okay, but you can watch the video. So have you seen? It's very quick. It's very fast. And I think it's, this is perfect when you're working uh, with primary or also secondary level, no? because maybe some ads are, are a bit inappropriate and sometimes we feel embarrassed and we say don't don't watch that part okay <laughs> concentrate on the on the on the video of the lesson so one more time the website is watching.com you can sign in with google i haven't and i'm, I'm not going to you just paste okay if you choose another one for example red line this is another yum yum this is another um, song uh, that I like, another account. So I copy the link, I paste, search. They look for the video. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. And the video is clean. You can. Copiar el vínculo, you can copy, and maybe you have a Facebook group with your students, or maybe you have a Google Docs or another resource. So you can copy the link, se copió, dice, and you can paste it, whatever you want. For example, if I go here, I paste, and I can watch it clean without ads. Okay. Everything that I'm doing now, I am uh, um, sending you the on the chat the name of the app, the app, sorry, the website, okay? So Wakelet, number one. Number two, write and improve. Number three, watching.com. Okay, I'm going to close this. Now, this one is... This uh, website is interesting. I really, really, really like it. <laughs> so let's copy. And I'm going to send that on the chat. This is our resource number four. Okay. So as you can see, it's like a blog, but a blog with songs, videos, with levels, okay? Vocabulary, whew, wow, look at all that. Skills, amazing. Picnic pop, about links, okay. So, it offers a, a variety of interesting resources, no, for our lessons. So for example, 
my students. Level medium, intermediate. Okay, I haven't chosen what kind of skill I want. I've just clicked on the level and I want to see what this website offers me according to this level. So you have a song, another song, worksheet for free, okay? Okay, the worksheet, mm, you click on that. On this page, you will find some useful resources to help you use emojis in your classroom. They explain what is speaking English. So this is an emoji that you can just download and print. So it says, click here for the free emoji handout. Of course you click because you want the free download. And it goes directly onto your Google Docs. If I want to share that with you, I click on Cargando, Copiar Vínculo. Let's imagine, wait, 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 I go crazy now with the chat. Let's imagine I want to share this with you. I copy and paste uh, the document. So here you have emojis in the classroom. What are, you, what are you going to do with the emojis? Well, different things, no? different activities. For example, it may be with the glasses. Okay, let's talk about books that you like reading. Maybe the kids tell me um, about, let's talk about feelings, let's talk about some Valentine's Day, thinking, etc. That depends on you. If you want more ideas, here they give you more ideas. Look, instructions for the easiest way for students to create dialogue. They give you ideas, WhatsApp contacts, da, 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 template, everything. Look, you can use templates like this. They give you more information, more examples, what to do, and every template is here for free. You just need to click Bitmoji, for example. I also like Bitmoji, okay? You can leave a comment, of course, excellent. So, let's go back. Pickinenglish.com. Okay, today uh, I'm looking for vocabulary uh, ideas, resources about family members. You click on vocabulary family. And you will go through, you will read first, and you will see what you want, okay? Do I want children? Maybe this is not for, teenage, for children. <laughs> okay. What about the first one? I don't know. Homer's meeting. I advise you to read before. Huh? You need to double check if the level is right for you. So they offer you a video. They offer you a free web uh, worksheet with vocabulary. Okay. And that's it. If you want the worksheet, you click on this, and also you watch the video. So that's it. If you want, I don't know, songs to start the lessons. Again, you choose the song that you want. For example, like this one, No, by Megan Trainer. You have the video, and you have the worksheet. The worksheet is pretty complete. Look, vocabulary, close down, Fill in the blanks, uh, questions, the answers, Pff, excellent. So, this website is free. You don't, need, you don't need to register, you don't need to do anything. Maybe the good thing that you can do to help this person is to follow them on Facebook or on Twitter, no? to say thank you very much, blah, 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 and uh, maybe share with your, with your, um, with your colleagues. Okay, what do you think about this website? Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it's going to make your, your life easier, I think, because you have everything ready for you. Yeah, great and very useful. I totally agree with you, Ferran. Yes, 
Okay, let's continue with another one. I'm going to close Picnic in English. I'm going to close the Google Docs and Wheel of Fames. Sorry, Wheel of Names. I think some people know this already. So we call them, <clears throat> sorry, Wheels of Names is also free. You don't need to register. So we usually ask for students like uh, volunteers and nobody wants to be a volunteer. So you have to choose a big thing. No? <laughs> if you want to make it more interesting, you go to the wheel of names and you write the names of your students. For example, Ma, Maria, Mario. So I'm very creative. <laughs> Julia, Julio. <laughs> okay, just the names. Okay, Roxy, Roxana. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I have the names of my students here. And I'm going to click to spin. And if your name is here, you need to start. So it says, Roxana, okay? Now it's like a party, yay! You have been chosen to participate, <laughs> okay? And, and you can remove the person. So now we have less uh, uh, students here. Maybe you don't want the names. Maybe you start the lesson with, I don't know, visual aids, okay? So Maria is going to be an apple. Um, Pedro is going to be, I don't know, a, a banana, blah, blah, blah. If you want to practice fruit, animals. So you can add image. If you click on add image, you go to, I have a lot of pictures, for example. Okay, and this one. Another one. I think you can add more than one. Let me see. Yes, I add all of those. Of course, my students know already that each picture means something. Okay? Maybe it's not for volunteers. Maybe I say, Maria, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to spin the wheel, and according to the picture, you're going to tell me something. For example, Okay, Maria, I want you to talk about your favorite food. You have been chosen, okay, thank you. Your favorite food, or oh, what do you usually have for lunch? What do you usually have for dinner? Uh, do you like cooking? Uh, who cooks at home? Etc. 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 Okay, you can save it. You save wheels, you need to sign I sign in. Okay, you can sign in with Twitter or Google if you don't want to save it. You don't, you don't need to um, give your details. I want to share this. If you want to share, continue. Okay. They should only be able to spin the wheel. When you share that, you have to um, um, choose one option. No? Only to spin the wheel or to copy and edit. Maybe I want to edit. Continue. Copy the link. And I'm going to share this on the chat for you to have it. I know it's not, it's not, uh, you see the link? Let me see, I think, um, yeah, that's the link. Okay, so again, you can write the names, you can write pictures, you can shuffle, Okay, you can save, you can share, and you have more options. The sounds and the colors, look. If you change the yellow, it changes, okay? With the options, have a look. Have a look at the option after a spin. What do you want? Do you want applause? Ah, ah. Do you want music, animate winning entry? You have to choose what you want. The time for the, uh, the wheel to spin, maximum of names, 100 students, no, no, maybe 20 students, okay, etc. So this is again free and 
I really like it because the students don't feel that they are participating. They think they are going to will, uh, win a contest or something, <laughs> really. And because of the sounds and the pictures, it's very uh, interactive. So you can start or finish your lesson with this, or maybe you can start a speaking activity as well. Okay, so let's continue. I'm going to close this. Oh, no, no. Okay, wait. Okay, so the next. Um, okay, thank you very much. <laughs> now you close this, and I'm going to show you the next one. So this is uh, a place that I usually go to. I'm going to share the link. The BBC podcast. I am a non-native English teacher y siempre necesito profundizar mi inglés, básicamente en la pronunciación, ¿no? Porque tenemos siempre errores. So, the more you listen to English, the better. And I really like the British accent because I think it's easier to understand, but that depends on your likes. So, podcast. You can download the podcast, you can have it on your phone, and you can listen to. But this is for pleasure. But what about for learning or teaching? You go here uh, on the search bar and you write learning. You can write learning English. Please, can you silence your microphone? Now, learning English, as you can see, this is in Chinese, so that is impossible for us. But this is not in Chinese. So for example, it says BBC Learning English Drama. Hay muchas cosas que aquí son antiguas y la gente no las conoce. Okay? So, for example, this video, this episode will be available soon. Okay? On July, on uh, July the 3rd. It's only six minutes. Okay? But this is a podcast. The BBC Drama. And the other ones are available. So, for example, look, Jamaica, Jamaica, maybe history, depending on the level no, of your students. For example, Jamaica, part one, where's part one, part, part one, okay. It's a bit sad, no? But, okay, you can listen. I don't know if you can listen to that now. I think my connection is a bit slow, but when you click on that, you, you usually listen to, you can hear this, okay? And you can ask your students to listen to this as well. You can share the link and you can ask them questions, etc. okay? Now, if I go back, if I close this, I go back, you continue, I'm here, I, I wrote, Learning English. So you go continue, continue. You have drama. This is in Chinese. Okay, learning English. I don't know where everything is in Chinese now. Okay, learning English news review. Can you sleep during lockdown? This is very interesting now because every single topic is about this. So I'm going to share that with you. Chat. You have a lesson here for your students. Okay, so, oh, sorry. Okay, here you listen, you can download the audio as well. Okay, it lasts 11 minutes. And here you don't have a lesson plan. Okay, here you have to create your own questions, but you have an, an audio ready for you. If you want to see all the episodes, from Learning English News Review, you click on this. I really like this one because all the vocabulary is updated. Look, for example, Black Lives, Lo que pasó hace poco, Lockdown, maybe Football, COVID-19, look, COVID-19, Coronavirus, China, all the topics that are trendy. So you can use it on your lessons. And this is Learning English News Review. I Copy that, and I can. I want to share that with you as well. 
I don't know why. Okay. Okay. So the idea is that you go one by one and you check. Or you can write here, if you go back, if you go back, you can also maybe have a look at the, all, the ep, all the episodes, all the podcasts. Maybe I don't want podcasts for my students. I want podcasts for me because I want to improve my English, my pronunciation. So you look, uh, if you like business, football, news, essay, and you click, for example, I want to know about everything coronavirus <laughs> because everybody's talking about coronavirus. There's currently no, no available episode. Oh, what a pity. Okay. Well, you're going to search for the one that you like. Maybe music. And you have more than 26. They have more than 100 podcasts. Okay. So this is the bbc.com uh, podcast. Close this one. And I'm going to show you the two last ones. Time is running out. This is amazing. This is amazing website. I'm going to show you. I'm so excited to share that. Uh, this is Radio Garden. Radio Garden. Copy the link before I forget. Okay. Go chat. Can you see the Radio Garden? Yes. Yes. Okay. So what is Radio Garden? Well, it's a radio <laughs> worldwide. They have the stations. Why? Uh, it's because I saved uh, Lima. I wanted to have an example. Okay. Uh, if I don't want Lima anymore, I cancel. Okay. So I'm going to show you. This is the world, <laughs> the map. Okay, and when you move this, it goes like this. It's going to search for different radio stations around the world. So how can I use this? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How can I use this with my students? Well, first, you can practice countries and nationalities. You can ask, maybe have like a mini competition and say, okay, I want you to look for your, for the country that you would like to travel to or visit one day and look for radio stations. So how do I do that? Well, let me see. You go to radio station, you explore. Okay. Here it says Brazil. I don't know why. Ah, because I click on this. So this is Brazil. If you click on here, for example, Lima. Oh, no, this is Chile. If you look at the map, you're going to click on the country that you would like to go, that you would like to search. For example, this is, um, is this Lima? No. What is this? Uh, Chile. We are still in Chile. Okay. So you can, ah, this is Peru, Moquegua. You can listen to different radio stations live, que están en vivo, transmitiéndose ahorita mismo, from Australia, Canada, Lima, um, I don't know, Mexico. Now, switch to look around the map, okay? I'm going to click again, planting seeds. Um, I don't know why it has a... Maybe I have uh, saved these ones as an example, and I don't know how to remove it. Radio gardens to meet contact. Okay. So, for example, one more time. You minimize, 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 and you see. Okay, I want a radio from, I don't know, move them up, Pakistan? No, maybe here. As you can see, you have to wait a little bit for the radio station to come through, okay? You can play around. So we are in one color. What about here in the USA? And here you have the different stations. 
In the USA, I am here, uh, the bear, mountain, popular in the USA, smooth jazz, hit Latino, because in Miami, everybody's from Mexico. Support for WMU comes from Genentech, who believes that paying for you your also save it with a heart if you like shouldn't that. be a challenge during these difficult. Okay, you can look for different Let's stations. Let's see what uh, Leslie Cooper has to say. If you Stay want to search a specific country, you click on search. For example, India. Okay. India. While the live wire is on hiatus, the WWOZ it will take you to England and you will have all the stations. For example, I don't know, I'm going to do the first at one. At Okay, so for example, I use it with my students, but also myself because I really like listening to different kind of songs and music around um, songs and music around the world. So as you can see, I have it registered. It's not free. They ask you. They don't ask you for any detail. You just need to click on RadioGarden.com, and you have to be patient and wait a little bit. Okay. You can, if you like one station and you want more info about the station, for example, this one, KVRE, da, 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 you can go to their website. Okay, la conexión no es, no es, no es privada. Well, but you can go to their website, you can go to the radio station, you can share the station. If I want to share on copy the link, I want to share that with you, for example. If I go here, in the chat, please, can you silence your microphone? I have shared with you the station. Okay, so the last one. Let me close this and this. Writingexercises.co.uk. Sometimes we don't have more ideas if we want our students to write about. Write about your favorite day. Write about what you did last week. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Maybe if you are out of ideas, if you're running out of ideas and you want your students to write, you go to this website. Again, free. Okay? So let me copy the link before I forget. Please, can you silence your microphone? Maybe I can. Okay. So, so what do you do here? Well, you have main site. If you want to read, what is it about? Children's random plot. Okay, for example, I want to choose exercises about, I don't know, children's section. Most of us teach children. I want my students to create a character, okay? Because I want to use adjectives, etc. But I don't know what to ask. So you click on character, create a character. They have to read this and they have to create a character. For example, a talkative boy who loves riding horses. He lives in a small house and has lots of brothers and sisters. So the idea is they can draw a boy, the house, the brothers and the sisters. They can write a story. Okay, for example, the boy is from Mexico. He is 11 years old. Uh, he has two horses. Horse number one is uh, Paco. <laughs> okay, and he lives in a small house in Huancayo. I don't know. <laughs> okay, and the names of the brothers and the sisters. So you have to also provide examples, but the main, um, the main task is here. You don't need to think about the task. I want my student to write a story. Use these buttons to make up a story title. 
Okay, an adjective, the secret, the noun, the secret baby. Okay, they have to talk, they have to talk about the secret baby. Another one, uh, the amazing baby. Adjective, you change the adjective, no? Happy, unhappy, poison, but now the scared angel, the scared whistle, the scared phone. Of course, you have to make it with a common sense, no? The scared tomato, mm, it's a bit silly. Okay, you go back. Because we are here with the selection of children, but I don't want the children's selection. I, want, I just want the whole selection. So you go to the main website. Maybe random words. Generate eight words. Here they give an example. Give yourself a tie limit. Okay, the students, no? You have to give these instructions to your students. Take the first word and use it in a sentence, blah, 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 blah. Generate eight, eight words. So they have different words and, you, and they have to maybe write sentences or maybe a mini story. If you don't like these ones, you click on that, you click, you say, mm, I don't like this one. Oh, okay, what about this one? And they have to make sentences as possible, okay? Maybe you want the lottery generator. You choose five, maybe 10, no. Okay, 22, you go. So it says, every aspiring author needs a backup plan. This tool randomly picks lottery numbers. You can choose up to 10. So these are the lottery numbers. So how can you do this? For example, you are playing bingo with your students and you ask them to write from one to 20. And if they see this number here, they have to cross out the, num the number that they have on their paper, no? And you say, 17, okay, me teacher, okay, well done. One, 28, seven, okay? So here you have different activities uh, for free. Of course, you can share that when you do the Zoom video lesson plan, uh, sorry, the Zoom lesson, and, uh, and to share that with your students. So before, again, please have a look at everything uh, and try to, um, to choose what, what is needed according to, to your lesson, okay? So time is running out. <laughs> I um, need to stop now because it's about an hour. I hope all the resources uh, have been useful to you. I'm going to save this webinar and upload it on Facebook. Sorry, YouTube. If you go to my Facebook page, English with Miss Roxy, you can see that I'm offering a, a giveaway. Okay, this giveaway is going to give you one hour with me to talk about everything about PowerPoint presentations, video, audio, interactive games, activities for free. The only thing that you need to do is to tag maybe two friends, two colleagues that are interested in English, learning English or teaching English. Okay, so if I, um, if I show you a, can you see my Facebook now? I don't think so, right? No. Uh, yeah, and blah, 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 blah. yes, it's here. Facebook now, I think you can see it. Can you see the Facebook page? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I have uh, in my giveaway, I'm offering one hour PowerPoint strategy. Okay. Using photos, text, images, audio, titles, slides. And this is going to be on July the 1st. So if you go to my page, you can tag. Uh, some people uh, let's see who wins okay so thank you very much to everybody tomorrow is Saturday I have a special webinar it's going to be one hour English lesson for teachers we're going to review some vocabulary and grammar um, but not um, basic 
It's going to be maybe like FCE level, okay? So I'm going to prepare a lesson for teachers and we're going to help each other. So if this has been useful, please, please, please go to my page, have, a, have it a like or go to my YouTube channel. Everything is under the name English with Miss Rose. Okay, have a great Friday and see you tomorrow at the same time. Okay, bye-bye everybody. Goodbye, Roxy. Thank you so much. Okay, my pleasure. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you, Roxy. It's the Bye. first time I take this kind of class. So I love it, the last part. I will be following you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jimena. Thank you. Okay, thanks everybody. Bye-bye.